So this week's topic is science and social studies. So we will start with some different science ideas. Even if you don't teach science and social studies, um, a lot of these ideas you can still use. Just change the content. This is showing an activity matching the planets, and you, and you just drag the picture to the matching words. So you would move the pictures where they need to go. This one is the same thing, but let's look at dual screens. Let's look at them both at the same time and think about either one would work. This one, what you're doing is you're moving it over to check your answers. So it's a self-checking. This one is not a self-check right now, the way it is. You could also make this smaller so that they're just moving it one at a time to check each one instead of moving it over all of them. And basically, it's the same content, it's just the colors are different, and the way it's layered, the order of the objects, send to front, send to back, are different. But here's an example of two different ways, one that they both work great, um, but one is self-checking. Another way... Um, especially in the older grades when you're um, coming up with different um, questions and, and um, hypothesis and all that in science, instead of just having a worksheet or them write it down in a journal, um, you can make it interactive by giving them options and having them move, even if they, this is stickies, but just moving things around to where it should be. So like this one is what you're observing and not observing, so they're having to think about what they're doing and then changing and not changing. And then it's showing you how they would create that research question. They'd have to look at what they're changing and what they're measuring, so manipulating and responding variables. This slide, um, it's a title slide for an, a lesson that was on the exchange, and I, and I do... I, I don't not I don't know why I love this um, picture slide. There's so much you can do with it, and this is again um, dealing with how you're ordering the objects. They're all grouped together, and we're going to unlock it, and then I'm going to ungroup all of this. So you're going to see how much how many different objects there really are. Um, so one way, you know, you can just move them out. You could let them see what they are, and they could you could do this at the beginning or at the end of a lesson and say, well, what adaptation does this animal have? What adaptation does this animal have? And they can pull them out, or you can make it a little more interactive by, let's say, we're going to add... Let's add in an arrow, and let's change the direction a little bit. And then let's move this animal out. And then I'm going to highlight them both. And I'm going to hit the arrow and group it together. So then, you could even have a bunch of arrows around here so the kids don't know. Maybe start the lesson with them being able to see them and pulling which ones they want. And then at the end, it could be the same thing, but... Um, you can hide them so they don't know what they're pulling out. And that way, um, that's kind of an assessment. Are they listening? Are, are, are they hearing what you're talking about and understanding it? These are the different kinds of templates that are already in the activity toolkit. Um, quick ways, beginning to engage, stop in the middle, check understanding, or at the end. Um, to edit these, it's just inserting objects and adding points and labels so that when you hit start, it's asking a question and you have to find the answer and they're putting them on there and going through. So um, quick things that, you, that are, you can edit really easily but are already in the activity toolkit, which is right here, that can really enhance your lessons or make them a little more interactive. This one is where it's an entire scene, so they're finding what's not adapting, and... Oh, let's unlock it. And then we're going to add... We're going to click on that, and then we're going to add an object animation, because it's saying it disappears, so we're going to say fade out when it's clicked. 
So we're going to go back to this and we're going to say, is this, you know, the horse doesn't live in the rainforest. So when they click it, oh, it's not picking up the horse. Let's, let's pick a different animal. The ones that belong there are spinning. And then I need to unlock all of these. The object animation wasn't there. So we're going to add an animation so that it fades out when it's clicked. And of course it's not working today. But this is something I found in the um, exchange, so I just have to download it again. And what's supposed to happen is the ones are supposed to disappear and it's not wanting to work today but I was just, all I'd have to do is re-download it from the exchange. There, don't forget about your gallery, your gallery, gallery essentials and you have interactives, backgrounds, themes and this is a video on, um, of course it doesn't want to show up, it's a video on a, a cell, a type of cell but when you go in here there's all kinds of interactives and there's videos and different activities there it goes um, so these are just quick things that you can manipulate that are already in the in the notebook here's some science websites um, for different age levels that you guys can check out um,